Hello, Pisces viewers. Put a look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. Let's just see what the cards have to say. They're right there. I'm also doing a raffle. Um, if you donate a dollar, you get a raffle ticket. And then on the 22nd, I'm going to be choosing somebody for a free in-depth private video reading. So just when you donate, just put your um, email on the donation comments or in the, the PayPal or Cash App comment. All right, if you want a paid private reading as well, all my contact info and prices are below. All right, what's going on with your person? Fear of commitment, honeymoon adventure vacation. New love, faded encounter. Publicity, divine inter... Or no, publicity, social media, and then we've got divine intervention, synchronicity. Could be some truth coming out on social media or like social media is like spying. Like they're, something's getting their attention. Something the divine is trying to get their attention back on you. They're trying to get them to notice you. Okay. Got true love, potential life partner. That's pretty good. That's good energy. I freaking put all these. Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events, loyalty, stability, vows, true love, life partner. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Reconciliation. Trapped, blocked, tied up. Clubs, parties, social life. Okay, can I get a few cards really quick to... Oop, okay, I guess those are the ones I'll take. <laughs> Ambition, energy, newness, vitality, witness to speak out. Let me shuffle too. I don't want to just take those. But no, that makes sense. It does make sense. Hold on. Can I get a few clarifier cards here? Miss it, loner, wander. So it's like outside looking in, kind of watching you, I feel. Witness again to no personal evidence to speak out. Hmm. Let's see what's up with this. Mm. Saying goodbye. Outsider again. <laughs> same. Okay, so I'm just getting the same cards anyway. Saying goodbye. Oh my gosh. Okay, can we, maybe I'm not shuffling well enough. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm really not shuffling well enough. I don't know how that's seriously happening again. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. Compassion, empathy, kindness. Okay, I feel like this is two different energies here. Yeah, it's two different energies. Because in the first spread I did... I got that there was like a third party situation and like the, um, your person's guides are, are, are kind of like at war with the karmic and the karmic's guides, like trying to push them out. Um, I do feel like you have been caught up in a third party situation, but I feel like you're also going to be caught up in a third party situation on your end. I think that your person has been in a third party situation and I think you're about to be in a third party situation. And the third party doesn't necessarily mean a person. It could just be something that was keeping them away from you. Some kind of third part, third party energy that was distracting them from you. But I really feel like, I feel two different energies here. So I think that you have new love as well. I think you have this person that's afraid of commitment or maybe committed to the karmic or maybe kind of like weak and kind of just stuck with the karmic, you know, just kind of like a stagnant situation. But then you have this new love that's either just come in or coming in and you have like adventure, honeymoon, vacation, you know, this new energy with this person. Could be that your person, your, um, the, the ex is also like noticing this on social media or noticing that they don't have your attention anymore. Um, because so I feel like the divine is trying to push something here, push you away from someone or push you towards somebody, you know, maybe trying to get you to be more social, trying to get you to put yourself out there to meet this new person. 
maybe you're kind of like a home buddy or like maybe you're just, you know, stressed with work. And I think the divine is trying to push you. Maybe publicity makes sense. Clubs, parties, and social life. And then we've got social media and publicity tier two tied to new love. Is that tied to new love? Yeah. Um, so I think the divine is pushing you to put yourself out there and meet this new person and have new experiences and go on adventures and travel and go on vacation and rest and heal and get in this honeymoon kind of energy where you love life again, you know, um, and not just stay tied to this person that's been afraid of commitment. So I feel like this could still be the same story I was channeling last, you know, what was it, two or three weeks ago, um, where it's like you were kind of tied to this person and your guide, you're, you know, you're, you're kind of, your guides are kind of at war with the karmics guides and it's just this crazy situation, but the divine might just be bringing you new love and they might be like, okay, this third party situation is getting old. It's just the same old story again and again. And your guides might be like, you know what, how about new love instead? Cause they don't want you to just be stagnant forever. Even if this person was a potential life partner, um, or like a soulmate or something like that, they might just bring you another soulmate instead because they're like, you know what, they don't want you stuck in this, this energy forever with this other person. You know what I mean? Like they want you to have new love. They want you to have an exciting, adventurous, happy life. They want you to go on vacation. They want you to live your best life. They want you to to put yourself out there, to meet new people, to get in this, this energy where things just flow to you. You know, this synchronicity, publicity, maybe like stepping into the spotlight too, kind of taking your business or taking something to the next level. It's just, I feel like a go-getter type energy, like just living your best life. You know, and that's when this new love comes around when you're in this energy. They want you out of this energy with this person and they want you into this new energy with this new love. You know, and this is coming in quick to fast moving energy. I'm going to cover him up with the fast moving energy. <laughs> um, let's see here. See, I do see two separate energies. Think that you have like this loyalty stability and these vows from this new person that's going to be coming in um you know this potential life partner i also feel like the ex might try to come back around and make these promises to you and you know finally appreciate your beauty and your mystery and your enchantment and they want this reconciliation but it's like kind of like a trap you know like you feel tied to this you feel tra trapped and, and blocked and tied up show me the old person show me the ex show me the story with the ex Chaser, chasey, power struggle, just the same. Yeah, choosing a path. Do you want, do you really want to go back to that? Because I think you're trapped and tied up with the ex because they haven't let go of the karmic or whatever the third party energy is. So if it's not a person, it could just be like a job or it could be like distance or something that just kind of kept you guys apart. Some kind of energy that kept you apart. And so it's like they might come forward with this reconciliation, but it's like because they don't want to lose you. But they're not actually ready for you. They're still trapped and blocked and tied up by something. So they might come in acting like they're over the karmic and that they're done with that when they're actually not. And they're just feeling you moving on. So they want to pull you back in. Because it's kind of like I see them coming forward and like kind of making these half half you know half promises to you of loyalty and stability and and whatnot and wanting this reconciliation with you but it's like only half of it it's not the full thing there's something that's still blocking this connection from really being successful you know what I mean it's like they would come back around but they wouldn't be ready to commit or like they would still be entertaining the karmic or they would still have a a 50 hour a week job that makes them too busy for our relationship or you know what I mean? It's like they would be coming back to reconcile, but there would still be something blocking this relationship from going further than that. It would just be like a, it would be like a, like a temporary honeymoon phase where it's like you would think that you were reconciling and you'd be excited about it, but then you're going to realize it's the same crap as before. It's just the same stuff as before, you know? And that makes sense because remember I was getting that like your spirit guides are at war with the karmic spirit guides. But I think that your guys are also tired of that struggle. Like they want more for you than that. They don't want life to just constantly be a struggle for you. And so they're saying choose a path because you do have this new love that's probably a lot better than this other person is, you know. They don't want you to wait forever. You know, even if this person was originally a life partner, they don't, they still don't, it's not worth it for you to wait forever either, you know. Show me the new person. What's up with the new person? Oh, I guess we're going to show the X again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
they were manipulative and deceptive. Even if they followed at home with you, and if there was love here, it's like they're gonna, they're gonna, they might come in with an apology, regret, you know, saying they're sorry for being manipulative and deceptive. Um, and that, you know, their home is with you, that they feel safe with you, that they want to be back with you again. But, but again, you have this new love here that's like ready for you. It's like all the glitters isn't gold kind of energy is what I feel here. Cause it's like, I do feel them. I do feel the ex reconciling, but again, there's something that's still blocking this connection from going forward. So they're still entertaining the karmic or there's just something that's still going on. So it's like they would come back around, but it would be the same situation and same story as it was before is what I feel. Same pride and stubbornness, same miscommunication. All right, show me the new person, if you will, please. Sometimes they won't show it because they want you to focus on clearing this energy out before you start focusing on a new person. So they might not show you the new person, but let's see if they will. New person, come on. Hmm. It could be a soul contract too that you're kind of repeating or a soul contract that maybe you have of waiting, hoping, praying of the being stuck, being stagnant that you need to break. You need to break this pattern of isolation and loneliness and being in this, this repetitive cycle. You need to get off the merry-go-round. You know what I mean? Like you've reflected, well, you do need to reflect, but it's like you, you just need to break this at a certain point. You just need to break that and come through it. You know what I mean? Um, will you show me the new person? Again, could be a soul contract that you need to break or a subconscious pattern that you need to break. Could be from past lives. Hmm. Yeah, they're just not going to show me the new person, I don't think. They're not going to show me the new person because they want you to focus on, on clearing the X out first. They want you to make that decision first before they get too deep into the new person so anyway thank you guys for watching if this resonates please go ahead and um subscribe to me and again you can donate a dollar if you want a chance to win a free in-depth private video reading thank you for watching